Hey, this is Nana from Tracking202. I wanted to show you a preview of the new smart rotator that we're working on. We went back to the drawing board and completely redid the first smart rotator that we created. And I believe that this version is even more powerful and better than what we released when we first came out with this rotator. So let's go ahead and create a test. I'm going to call this one mobile test. Add that, and it adds that smart rotator. So let's select that from this list. By default, you can choose for it to go to a campaign that you've already set up or a URL that you can type in if none of these rules are matched. So for example, let's pick a campaign, put default in here, and it's, there's a default campaign already set up in uh, step three. So rule one, call it mobile check, and we'll check the device type is mobile. You can add more criteria to this. So all of these have to match in order for it to actually go to the offer. And this is a, another offer that I've already predefined. You're free to put a URL in here as well. Country, United States. Notice that we've got Ojo complete here, so you'll never accidentally make a typo with some of these country names and make it so that your rotator is not matching up to anything. You also are able to turn these roles active or inactive. So for example, you may have three roles and you may decide that you want to turn one of them off. I'm just going to add one more. And then I'm going to send all desktop traffic to um, another page. We'll do desktop and tablet. And send that to the test campaign. And then we'll just save the rules. And for mobile test, you see the two different rules underneath that. You can get details about the rule. And so now the smart rotator mobile test has been created. The next thing is to actually create your tracking links, and that's done in step eight. Notice that we've shifted some of these steps around before step seven used to be the get links. You'll see a new option here, smart rotator. So we'll pick that, and then we'll pick the mobile test, pick the traffic source, account name, which in your CPC, you can add your C1, C2, C3, and C4 variables as usual. And then you can create a tracking link. Here's the tracking link. Notice that the link is now rtr.php, and this is the new rotator tracking link. So you grab this and put it in wherever you put your links as you usually do, and it will intelligently direct traffic based on the rules that you set up. The next thing is that we have a new rotator overview report, which you'll see here, and it shows you the breakdown of the different roles, the clicks that you get through each one of those, and the conversions, so then you can see which of these uh, rotator roles are working best for you and you can optimize with that information as well. We're going to get this in your hands probably by early next week so be on the lookout for this exciting new update that we have for you. I would love to hear your feedback on this once you get your hands on it. Thank you.